Welcome to Chemical Wisdom. Today we are going to be dealing on coordinate covalent bonding or dative bonding, which is quite similar to covalent bonding, but in that covalent bonding involves equal sharing of electrons between atoms. But in dative bonding, the electrons are not shared equally. For example, let's look at the reaction between this ammonia and hydrogen ion to produce ammonium ion. If you look at the structure of ammonia, the nitrogen here has a lone pair of electrons, I mean. Meanwhile, the hydrogen ion has no electron in its valence shell. So this means that the hydrogen ion has no electron to share with the nitrogen in an attempt to combine with the nitrogen. So what happens is that this hydrogen needs two electrons to balance up its valence shell, unlike other atoms that need eight. You know, in the previous videos, we, we talked about that, especially in stability of atoms, the pattern of this series. The hydrogen needs just two electrons to balance up the valence shell. So what will it now do? It now comes over and combines with this lone pair. So this lone pair now, look at this. This lone pair now completes the valence shell of the hydrogen, hydrogen ion. That's how dative bonding happens. In that only one, only one atom out of the two combining atoms supplies the shared pair of the shared pair of electrons. Meanwhile, the other atom does not supply anything. What it does is that it just attaches itself to the lone pair of electrons on the other atom. So look, okay, let me show you another example. Another typical example is the formation of hydrogenium ion between water and hydrogen ion. So if you look at the structure of water now, water has two pair, two lone pairs of electrons. This is the first lone pair, and this is the second lone pair. So like now, just like in the reaction between hydrogen ion and ammonia, this hydrogen needs two electrons to balance up the valence shell. So what does it now do? It attaches itself to one of the lone pairs. It can come to this first lone pair now and attaches itself. And this is what happens. The valence shell combines with the oxygen and and the valence shell of the hydrogen ion gets filled up in that we have just one, two. So the hydrogen ion now is stable, is stabilized. So this is basically what happens in dative bonding. In unlike covalent bonding where atoms would share electrons equally, like we looked at that in the case of nitrogen or oxygen or chlorine. But in this case, only one of the combining atoms supplies the shared pair of electrons. Check more examples, you know, and post it to the email below at chemicalwisdom21 at gmail.com. I'll check out your examples if you need corrections. I'll make the corrections and post it back to your email. So please don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe.